Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited! I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, I began going through and checking off some unfinished business. Namely, I went back and completed Sunny Flight and Crystal Flight. And since I got Night Flight before the credits rolled, that means... Well, that means that uh, all I need to do is get Wild Flight and I think it's Icy Flight... And I've 100%ed everything. So let's just step over there. I did check out the order for Wild Flight, and ooh, I'm not looking forward to this. They mix them together. That's the real trick. And stretch those muscles. We gotta get, uh, get ready for this. Here we go. Oh, shit, no. I scraped the ground, and that made me... The moment you touch the ground, you are in walking mode again. So I just walked off the edge and fell. Oh, no, that's not the direction. No. How did it go? That was actually the correct order. Just more complicated than I'd like, because we have to swoop down and get that guy in the boat on the right, after getting the first arch. Oh boy. No! I should use the A thing, see if just giving myself more height can help. I don't know if I was supposed to get that guy or not. Shit! Shit. Oh, oh, okay, I was just confused why I got the gems for that, but not for that. No, that just means I already got that before, and it's not going to give me the gems now. Right, okay. Well, hey, I did that. Yeah, this one sucks. I don't know if this is the right one. Ah. Uh. Up yours. Ah. Uh. Oh boy, this one is going to be a kick in the crotch. Let's try that again! It was actually meant to be this one I peeked. Ah! Well, screw you, I can still get it. Oh, there was a guy there. Shit. Fuck. Okay, okay. Nuts to this.
joke. Okay. That was one of the tricks I did not see coming. Oh, no, you don't. Damn. There is an achievement in this level for completing this one in particular without touching the ground. Ah, hell, I got ahead of him somehow. How am I faster than you? Serious question. Piss drink. I'm doing really well now. Oh. Uh oh. Second guy. Uh. Stupid water solubility. Why couldn't dragons dissolve in acid like humans? No, water is bad. Fuck! Um... You heard the sound, didn't ya? Mind you, I'm not even sure of that anymore. That, that one is me, I'll give you that. Uh... There was a bit in the last session when I came across a yellow gem. And I looked at it, and I saw that it was yellow, and I said, and I can see that it is yellow. But then I went and looked at the footage, and... In the footage, I said the word red, which genuinely surprised me. But hell yeah, call me out on that one, I don't... That was not the word I thought came out of my mouth there. Just someone left a comment on that, didn't they? Well, there are four million jump cuts in this episode. I'm sure I can know. Let's put one right here. It was K.O.R. who noticed I said the wrong thing. Shout out. Uh. Oh, no, you don't. Ooh. No! Fuck! Oh, that was close. That was really close, so I'm gonna keep going.
I can't even remember if I cut that run out or not, but... Uh, there is an achievement for beating this level specifically without touching the ground. Which is funny to me, because uh, there's much less ground in here than some of the other levels. There you go. Thank God it at least has quick loading times. Oh, you don't need to flame those, that's right. Oh, there goes that achievement, but that's fine. We can't see him anyway. to come to me. Get back here. What did I just say? Ah, uh, can't turn in this. I go up my way. my luck, uh, Nork's final level is going to turn out to be one last flight. Bit. Jesus. First time I've ever actually gotten the planes. Let's get out of here. Do I even have my timer running at this point? Apparently. No, I have two timers running according to this. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even see the numbers. 11,820 out of 12,000. While I'm out here, uh, another shout-out to KOR for pointing out a thought. You know, I mentioned the observation, oh, maybe the, uh, the dragons and the uh, fairies are the males and females of the same species. Uh, well, this does suggest something rather unfortunate for the fairies in that we've seen how big dragon eggs are. Incidentally, for absolutely no reason, I recommend you look up how big a kiwi bird's egg is. 
<laughs> Seriously, you x-ray a kiwi bird right before it lays an egg, and it's like 75% egg in there. I don't know how it has room for organs. Hell yeah. Where to, Spyro? I guess off to Dreamweavers. But you know what? I kind of want to... Oh, I don't know if I should do that, actually. All right, remember that in order to uh, search uh, Nasty Nork's boss room for that uh, hidden trailer full of posters, I would need to, uh, you know, fight the boss again. Need a lift? So I might as well save that for the end. bugs me most about Twilight Harbor isn't the fact that it has, you know, gun-toting norks in it. It's the fact that it's very clearly sunset, and Twilight comes right after sunset. Not right before. Oh, right, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. My bad. <laughs> Apologizing for not killing you, right? No, you don't. Uh, where the fuck was anything in this damned level? Nothing made any sense here. I realized, you know, in retrospect, I was probably being a bit harsh calling this hidden room up here. Totally bullshit, incidentally. Ah, oh, sick. I see flight. I mean, it was from 1998, and invisible textures were considered very clever at the time, so fine. I'll allow it. Oh, wait. Ah, you can tell that island is just painted on because it's nowhere on the map. Oops. You know, I don't know if I ever... if I have explained that in the last few years. I don't think I have explained that since Mars Warlogs. But, uh... My sort of running joke about things that aren't really part of the game being painted on comes from, very specifically, uh, the demo for a point-and-click adventure game from the 90s, which I never had the full version of. Uh, Under a Killing Moon, it was called. And uh, I don't know if it was a joke from the main game or uh, just from the demo, but you got air access to this one alleyway area in the demo, and it had a... What well, had, like, a door at the top of a set of stairs. And if you climb the stairs and try to use the door, at least in the demo, your character says, Hey! This door is just painted on! And for some reason at the time, that just struck me as the funniest thing in the world. But we don't want you to go in there, so as far as we're concerned, this door is non-canon. Fuck. There's also a single NPC. A, uh... A homeless man whose life had been ruined by his crippling addiction to chocolate. Yeah, this one's going to suck. Okay, it's getting late, so for right now, I'm just going to do this and finish up here. I don't know the... I don't have exactly memorized the pattern or anything. Haven't really had time to look into that. I do know you start with these. And move on to the trains. Which 
started A, didn't you understand, you ass? A is for ass. You should know it very well. I was supposed to be the last one. Where did I miss one? Ah, you have to double back. Double double back, in fact. So now that the guy is dead and I don't have to take him seriously as a threat anymore, I want to finally acknowledge that Norks is uh, British slang for boobies. There, I said it. Uh. No! But... I wonder if I keep following the tracks or if I have to veer off there and get all the stuff. Up yours. Ah! this up again tomorrow. Until then, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon Reignited. When, knock on wood, we put Icy Flight to rest and crack open the late nasty boobs Treasure Vault. <laughs> ah. Later.